Dan, great to get you on camera. Um, I'm always excited to come to Grob and see their machines. I've been to Germany. Okay. Uh, this is the UK headquarters. Um, really stunning place, stunning machine. Yeah. Let's pick out a few of the features and some of the things you guys talk about when you're looking to attract new business and new customers. Okay. I'm going to start with that tunnel concept. What's good about it? So the benefit to the tunnel concept uh, is, of course, every time we change a tool into the spindle, it's outside of the working envelope. So, uh, for example, with this demonstration, we use a tool that's two millimeter under maximum length, which is 365 mil for this machine. And it's as soon as you bring it in, we've got full freedom. It's not in the coll any collision zone. Uh, I mean, so it goes beyond that, though. I mean, I look at this, and I'm sure the viewers are thinking, you know, it's kind of burying itself. You know, the support around the spindle means that the best cutting conditions, the best mechanical cutting conditions are available throughout any machining process, aren't they? And that's really a point I'd like to get across that I know you guys tell me about a lot. Yeah, that's correct. So the, again, with the Z-axis build, um, no matter what the uh, position of the Z-axis at its furthest point, um, it's always in contact with the rail system. So you get maximum rigidity consistently through your machining, um, coupled with the HSK platform, which is obviously what Grob use. It's, uh, it just allows you to hit materials harder, just be more productive with your process. What's the result of it? You know, we look at this and we go, okay, I can, I can see the concept now, but what, the end users that you sell to, what, what do they experience as a result of that configuration? They, they experience uh, more rigidity, so you'll have uh, less spindle load. Obviously, uh, you know, with this kind of setup versus a standard vertical with a quill system, you lose that rigidity as your Z-axis comes down, whereas you don't have that with the Grob platform. So I guess things like surface finish and stuff like that yeah. could be improved as a exactly. result of the, of course, the yeah. build and precision, I guess, in the, in, the, in the movement. But the other point I want to bring up as well, and I look at these, the upside down machining yeah. and the kind of compact area of the whole of the machining envelope, it's really impressive. Again, referring to this demonstration, it's pretty much a, a one and done components, which is and, and with that with that upside down machine we know that swore fall away. Is that is that the only advantage, or does it just is a better accessibility to? Well, of course, you have you have a you have a large range of swivel on the A axis, so you can quickly get to any area of the components with minimal you know minimal process time. And the swarf benefit, of course, you've seen the end of the demonstration. There's nothing left on the table. So uh, we take this component from eight kilos to 0.7. Is that right? Uh, and you open the doors and uh, there's nothing remaining, so that's yeah. the benefit of the overhead concept. And when you open the doors on these things as well, getting into them is easy to load the component as well, yeah. I, I guess, isn't it? There's no yeah, of course, yeah. There's very rarely any limitations with loading a component. You can have maximum component size and you have maximum access to load and when, onto and the And when valid. people look at these machines, do they say to you, and we're going we're gonna to look at this now, well, it, there must be, a, it must be a big footprint to house all of the all of the construction and the spindle that we talk about there, yeah. but it, it's, that's not quite the case, is it? As no, we it's, move no, it's not quite the case. So um, if you look at the machine, you know, you may think it looks larger than a, a standard, you know, standard five axis, but you have to consider what it's included in the footprint. Now, other machines, they have external conveyor, external spindle chiller, Let's move around this where way. it's um, with the grub system, it's all within the same footprint. So if you stand this way then, so you can see here then that the, 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 what we've just walked is the entire depth of the machine, isn't yeah. it? But the, the width to me as well is actually uh, it's quite small as well. It, it, so it's, there's it's, a yeah, it's quite narrow yeah. to it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, things like tool um, tool carousel in here. Is this where you would load? You yes. Just it, open it, the door and it, load there. Exactly that. So this to the operator. It's very accessible. Yes. So you, uh, this machine in particular has a, a double disc system, so you have capacity for 120 tools. Okay, and is that is that a standard 120 on these machines? Uh, Do you sing offer... Single disc would be a standard. A double disc would be an option. So you could go up to more than that if you. If you yeah, chose of course. To. And to go further, we also have a TM system, uh, yeah. which um, tool management system, which you can increase significantly to. Uh, I think it's around 500 tools. Right, and then when you look at your interface as well here, okay, you've got the Grob Pilot. Yeah. But behind that, what's the what's the control in it? Because it's a big thing these days, people are talking about, okay, well, I look at this, how am I going to program it? What are the features on the control? How easy is it is to use? How powerful is it? Yeah. What's your answer to those? Uh, so the, this is the Grob for Pilot Control, as you say. We've got Siemens 840D behind it. Uh, the newer machines out of uh, our headquarters in Mindelheim are all Siemens 1. Uh, but the Grob for Pilot Control gives you uh, flexibility. We have uh, various options. So. Uh, for any any process, you can include all your PDF documentation, so setup sheets, any setup guides. You have access to to the 3D model, so any part prove outs, 
you have full visibility to follow the process through. You've been at Grob now a few, a few months, you've been to Germany. Yeah. And um, the kind of markets that you guys are servicing here in the UK, very much out of the automotive sector, these machines, but now that's, it's not a thing of the past because you're still very big in that, but yeah. you've expanded and broadened the horizons. Yeah. Because I guess these machines were developed for challenging sectors, for challenging applications, of course, yeah. reductions in cycle times, and you've just moved that into the other sectors now, would that be right? Uh, exactly that, so, you know, pr predominantly it was, uh, Grub was related to automotive sector, but you need to consider, uh, you know, a lot of these large manufacturers have got hundreds of Grubs and these machines run day and night, so I think that's a testament to reliability. So now this side of the business, which is the universal machine side, it's the same platform, so you have that same uh, machine benefit and reliability. Brilliant, thanks Dan. Now if you want to see these universal machining centres in action, come here to Grob's new UK headquarters in Stratford-upon-Avon. This place has been open just over a year now. Machine tools here in action uh, demonstrating some of the features and benefits we've just discussed.